Hey everyone, welcome back to Alex Mustang Garage. Today we're back on the 66 convertible Mustang. It just had some floor work done and now we're going to be putting some new carpet in. But before we put in some new carpet, we're going to coat this entire floor with a rust inhibitor, a 415 rust inhibitor agent. And uh, we're going to clean that first, put, put down the 415, probably a couple coats, um, sound deadener, and then new carpet. So today, that's what we're working on. If you're starting to see more of my videos, I do appreciate that. That means um, we're growing, the channel is growing, we are seeing that. Um, if you wanna kinda help with that and see us make more videos, please hit the subscribe and the notification buttons. Um, we do appreciate that. Those are the little things that help us continue to make more good videos for you guys. Just before we get started here, um, I'm going to clean this entire floor with a with a wax and grease remover just so everything is uh, as clean as possible. Um, and then this is the stuff we're going to we're going to put on here. It's called Pore 15. It's a it's a rust preventative coating. Uh, this stuff um, I'll post a link in the description below, but you can get it from Amazon and um, really, really good stuff and, and well worth uh, the time to do this that way. You know, if you want to preserve the car for another, you know, 50 years um, or whatnot before you have to do another floor again, this would be a good idea to do this now. So get it all protected to the best as we can to preserve this car because uh, we all know how convertibles are with their floors. They just seem to kind of rot out a lot faster than a than a hard top would. So um, anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to get my wax and grease remover and I'm going to clean all this up here and then we're going to get my just a regular paint roller um, and just kind of paint it on. Um, we'll let that dry for 24 hours. We'll apply a second coat and then we'll move on to some sound deadening. Okay, well that's our first coat of Pour 15. We're gonna let that uh, dry uh, for 24 hours. And then we'll apply a second coat of that stuff. Okay, so we got uh, the second coat of 415 down this floor. So we're now ready for uh, sound deadening. So what I'm gonna do is I like to use this uh, Noiko brand. This is the stuff I get from Amazon. I will post a link for this in the description for the sound deadening. Um, they come in boxes of 36 square feet. I typically need uh, two boxes for one of these cars. Um, these are, this is 80 millimeters thick. Um, works really, really good. So, and um, anyways, that's what we're gonna do. This stuff comes in black or silver. We went with black for no particular reason. But, um, so anyway, so I'm gonna get this on, rolled down in the entire floor of the car. And, um, the good news is, is we got extra help today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good help is really hard to find. And so, turns out that kids dig Mustangs too. <laughs> Just say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you do like Mustangs, right? Uh, only if they go super fast. Only if they go super fast? That's my kind of girl. All right, 
Okay, let's uh, get started and we'll show you how to put this stuff in. When you lay this down, um, obviously it's got a you know a sticky end that you would peel that and stick this. And so um, you just kind of lay it down. I usually start this up in the front because I can use like a full piece without having to cut it or anything. But and then just kind of work yourself back. But then you just kind of form fit this to the car, kind of mold it around. Don't cover up any drain holes in the floor. Um, I mean, you can, and you just, I just kind of like, you know, this stuff is really easy to punch through. So I can, you know, just kind of take my X Acto knives and, and just kind of punch through it. That way I don't cover up those uh, natural drain holes, seat holes, um, seat belt holes, things like that. And I take my little roller like this, and I'm going to roll this into place and kind of contour it and, and, you know, tuck it in really nice because you don't want it, you want it to be, as snug fit to the to the floor as possible otherwise you're going to run into issues when you install your carpet so um, you want it to really form you know the exact pattern of the floor is the idea and this is this is a great tool to use as well you can get this on amazon so anyways that's pretty much the gist of how we uh, install that and so we are going to get started Okay, I was just going to kind of show you how I contour this into place. I should have got the silver the way it goes. You can see it a lot better. I just kind of roll it and I'm kind of folding it over with my hands like this. And uh, really trying to get it tucked over here and get it into place. And then once I'm in, I can use my roller to roll it. And it's not going to be perfect, so try not to go for perfection here. Um, this is going to get covered up. What matters is that it kind of gets you know, laid down as flat as possible. Okay, so I got uh, my main uh, floors you know, laid down. Um, so now I'm just going to focus on the transmission tunnel here. And so we're going to peel off a new piece. And I'm trying not to overlap as much as possible. I mean, there's, I mean, there's going to be some overlap, but I'm trying not to, you know, do too much overlap. So I'll just kind of trim these pieces here. So what I'm going to do is um, get this one as where I want it, and then I will trim the other side. Maybe just a half inch of overlap right there. So I'm trying to avoid this kind of stuff as well. You okay, can see there's just like this stretched out void. I'll try to lay that in. And again, like it's gonna be wrinkled. If you're striving for perfection on this, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. So that's why we have our roller. We just kind of roll it out to the best that we can. Okay, so over here on this side, we got, uh, you know, a fair amount of overlap. So I'm just going to try to trim a little bit. And I can, you know, I can 
this piece is still usable. I can kind of put it over here across the back here and, you know, don't necessarily have to throw it away. have everything done that I want to do um, I'm not going to kind of go up on the sides of here like I like to kind of keep those clean makes my carpet insulation that much easier obviously I probably could if I wanted to um, like I said before like you can get really creative with this stuff but um, what matters is you just kind of cover you know a lot of area you don't have to put sound in on every single little nick and cranny of this car that's not going to make that big of a difference um what you do want to do is just cover you know the general area and that's what's going to make your difference so um we've done that i've usually once i get to you know the more intricate areas up around the shifter and stuff i'm, I'm using a lot of patch pieces um which is which is totally fine like here's a you know big patch piece right here just to kind of Make sure it all contours correctly. Um, I don't want any air pockets. If I find any kind of air pockets, um, what I'll do is I'll just kind of slit it and push all that air out. I don't want any kind of moisture or anything like that to get trapped inside. Um, it's very easy to create air pockets on this stuff. Um, I was going to show you like what I do, uh, you know, find your holes that you want to cut out and um, I just kind of will cut out for my seat holes, you know, just going to cut out a nice little fancy square like that and the reason why I do it like that rather than just punching a hole through is you know, I usually get this the this kind of goopy stuff on the threads of my seat as I throw the seat down through there. Um, so this is just going to make that uh, easier to install, you know, my seats and all that kind of stuff. So, um, cause like I, like I said earlier, you don't need this material over every single square inch of this car. <laughs> you could probably achieve that, but it would take you a lot of time. And, um, anyways, without a whole lot of uh, added benefit. So there's the seats, um, go through, make sure there's no air pockets anywhere. I don't wanna have any kind of air pockets. You know, if there is, I'm just gonna slit a hole, fold that stuff down flat, so. Okay, all right, so um, once you're kind of ready for carpet, which we are, as soon as I do this last hole, what I'm gonna do is lay my carpet out. I like to get it out of the box, unroll it, uh, just kind of lay it down, and uh, you don't have to lay it down inside the car, you can lay it down, you know, out here, and um, kind of let that kind of unravel and kind of unform from being rolled up in the box for you know, maybe a few months or something. Okay, well that's how I do my carpet prep. Um, from here we just gotta install the carpet. Um, if you wanna see all the little things I do on installing carpet, um, I have a separate video for that. You can catch that right here. Um, but uh, anyway, so yeah, I love doing the pour 15. I love doing the sound dender, laying the carpet out, you know, give it a day or so. and. Kind of let it unfold out of the box and then uh, we'll do some cutting and trimming and holes for the seats and seat belts and shifter and you know tack it along the sides and get it fit just right and, and uh, anyways yeah check out the video for that if you're curious on how that works so anyways um, as always we're here to help you keep your mustang on the road and out of the garage <laughs>